Good morning. Yes, we're testing my voice and everything today. Oh, and that is not the account that I made moderator, Sylvia. Good morning. Should be fixed now. Okay, this is what my counting is hard. I haven't even had my coffee. It's full. Sylvia, it is good to see you. Next time you type, you should be a moderator. And let's make sure the chat bot is on. Sorry. Waking up. Puffy face, red eyes from allergies, and all. Oh. That's not how you spell commands. Well, good Thursday morning. I'm Colleen. Colleen sews and chats. Colleen really likes to chat. And welcome to my channel for the new people. Welcome back for all the ones that have seen me before. I appreciate you being here. And I really should have had more coffee before I started this this morning. Got up, got dressed. That's about it. I think my chatbot is asleep. There it is. Ooh, red face, got the fan on. So, what are we doing this morning? I said when I got my Farm Girl Vintage done, I was wanting to do a live and show it. Well, I don't remember who I said that to, <laughs> but I know I said it. And it is done. Yesterday, I got the binding on and I got it washed because I love the the look of a washed quilt. Some people hate it, some people love it. And it's pretty square. There's just a little tad bit off. I'm happy with it. Now, there you are. Just want to make sure you were moderator. This one, of course, I can't see in front of me, so let's see if I can stand up. This is from Lori Holtz Farm Gold Vintage One. It's a sampler. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Pick a block, pick another block. I'm trying to turn it around. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia says beautiful. Good morning, Amy. It's going great. How's it going for you? It's good to see you. Just woke up. Legit, it takes me 10 minutes to get ready in the morning because I don't do a bunch of. Uh. Oh, good to see quilty friends this morning. Sun is finally coming up. Ooh, it's foggy out there. I was showing the farm girl vintage that I finally finished the binding on and I'll show you. You can't really see the mess I made of this binding. Let's see if I can do this and show the tag because I think the tag is adorable. The binding, what happened was and I'm gonna do it fast because I don't wanna do it really. Amy says she's doing okay, trying to finish her Zach box quilt so she can get it submitted to enter the featherweight giveaway. Oh, that's awesome. Yay. Very cool, Amy. Thank you, Amy. But what I did was, this thing was a mess from the get go. <laughs> this is actually the first pattern I followed. First quilt, first pattern, sixth quilt since last year. 
because I started quilting in la last year. What I did was I decided I was going to, let's see if I can get me a square up here, do a stitch in the ditch because I have gotten better at straight lines. And it was fine. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just outline all these squares and then go back and fill them in. So I'm going to go ahead and put the binding on because I'm that kind of crazy. And I put red binding on. And then I decided that's not the pattern that I wanted to do. So I picked out all of those and I went for a, let see if my camera will pick it up. Mm, yeah, a little bit. A uh, crisscross with a serpentine stitch. Got a couple puckers. We're okay with puckers. How wide is the binding? This binding is three and a half inches because I was putting in over two and a quarter inches. Both were too wide on the back, but I like that look. And it works if I hand bind it down, which I did after I machine bound it down because I did not like how the machine did it. Let's see if we can get close. Ish, yes. That's where I hand, sorry about that. That's where I hand bound it down after doing the stitch on the front. Amy said, Sylvia asked how wide the binding was, I'm sorry. And Amy says, my problem is I follow a pattern, then I go off and do my own thing. Don't know what that's like. Yeah. That is what I do. Because that, I think I know better than everybody else. At some point it's like, oh, I got this. Oh, maybe not. So that is the Farm Girl Vintage Mistakes and All, and it's going to my mother-in-law, who I love to death. I had my phone set for when it rang. If it was my mother-in-law, my husband is like, it's your friend. And I was like, it's your friend. It's not my friend. I said, oh, okay. So I turned my phone, the ringer on my phone was set to my friend Jill, not yours. So next time it rang, it was audible and it was saying, my friend Jill, not yours. And it made me laugh. So that is the finished. Oh, color catchers. Color catchers, you can't see it all. They are a light beige now. And I did pre-wash this red and I pre-washed the white. I think that's all that I pre-washed on this to try to keep the colors from running. So that's the finished one. Oh, Sylvia says, my mother-in-law was my friend too. I miss her as much as my mom. I'm pretty sure this is mom. Yeah. Oh, I love my mother-in-law. We are like two peas in a pod. Of course, she couldn't find a little peas in a pod picture to send me on my phone. So we use cherries. Two cherries. Okay. This is the bag it's going in. Because I had leftover fabric and I thought that would make a great bag. And Amy says, so like on this Zach box quilt, it's so... It's too small, so now I'm making a scrappy keyboard border, and I'm moving in slow-mo. Have to finish it, including binding, before I can enter it. Yes, you will have to send photo. And although I'm taking a break from Discord, we're friends on Discord. You should still be able to send me things. Thank you, and he says, cute pad. Um, train of thought is hard to follow. I had it. This is where I'm keeping my basically flippies. Finish the top and I've been throwing them in here. That was upside down for y'all. That's not nice. And when I do my leaves afterwards, I'll try to get a link in for this if I remember. But this and under under bed garment bags are great for storing flimsies and fabric. So next on the list, I don't know how close to next. I have to find a backing for it. I may just do the blue because I have a lot of that blue. 
was the three yard quilt, which is ready to sandwich and bind. And I think I'm gonna go with smaller binding. I was talking to Kim and she had said, and pardon me for putting things in front of me, she had said that the, because the binding I'm using, I just get smaller and smaller and it's still a whole lot left over on the back. And she said, it's probably the batting because the batting is very thin. So my binding has to be a little bit smaller. And I thought, well, that makes perfect sense. It's all about the math. Pardon me while I fold. Let's see, that one is still actually working for us. Oh, by Sunday. I missed that. Amy said it has to be, she has to get it entered by Sunday. Wow. And Sylvia says, I plan to finish my jacket tomorrow. Just getting binding to add to the sleeves and pockets. Amy, that three-yard quilt turned out really pretty. I still have to put the borders on mine. Yay! You know, and most everybody's in a Facebook group. If you're in a Facebook group, shares pictures and you do the three yard quilt, go share. We all love to see everything. I'm not on Facebook because I'm not. <laughs> this is going to be a wall hanging. I might actually might actually finish this one, get it sandwiched and bound and give it to my mother-in-law too. I might give it to my sister-in-law. She is a vet. Actually two of them over. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia says that's so pretty. Can you tell I'm a little bit fussy when I do things? Oh. Amy, the last quilt I made, I did two inch binding, which made the machine stitching closer to the binding. Yes. That's what, that's what I thought I was going for, but since I had bound it, I wanted to make sure that the new binding I put on that one went all the way around. I actually have the first quilt I made over there. And this, oh, this is my husband's, it's got some work to do. I think, well, I think those are Hoffman prints. These are batiks. If they're still gettable, ooh. This one is Dawn, it's been down a while. I get chatty and then things don't get done. Because I'm too busy chatting. Oh, Sylvia says, OMG, that's awesome. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Sophia. I was actually, had I had my head on straighter this morning, thinking about asking Sylvia to join me this morning. I said, oh. Who wants that at the very last second? Hey, can you hop on Zoom with me? And by the way, I have to figure out Zoom, so let's do that. <laughs> it's okay. But these are my plans before I start anything. Sorry about that. I'm just boom in your face. Before I start anything new, I wanna get these all finished because I just, I can't stand half done. Drives me nuts. Now my husband's quilt, what I did have in mind is, I when I ordered this, I thought it was a cuddle because I wanted to do the back and all cuddle. And I thought, I'll use this panel. And this cuddle. I've used cuddle once and it was very, very easy. Well, no harder on me than anything else really. Sylvia says, yes, we can zoom together, but you can figure the tech stuff out. Oh, I'm okay with that. That's what I was going to do for the back of my husband's quilt. Then I got this and realized it was not the cuddle I thought it was. So, it's, it's got to be nice having the camera blocked by this fabric. <laughs> Sorry. Small space. So 
I asked him, what do you want? And I saw this and I, I knew he would want it. I didn't want it. I'm not a fan. I like green. Good morning, Lori. Sherlock, Sherlock, so more coffee needed people. I knew he'd want this because he, he likes bears. He doesn't want to run into one, but he likes bears. So Leah says, the moose is lovely. Thank you. And I'm just going to do this and assume that you guys can see it. Oh, that's going to go on the back. And I'm wanting to get a very dark green. Hunter green I like. Let's see. That shade of green? I can, st I can stand that. So I need to get some more cuddle minky stuff. And everyone wants the bears. You should watch more when bears attack videos. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Some of you wants the bears. And Lori said she wants the bears. And it's actually, I've got, it's a panel and pillows. It, I, I want to say it came with two little panels for pillows. But I want to get a dark green. And I get, the shipping is a little bit more for me, but I don't care. <laughs> When you find good customer service, I really think they need to be supported. And I got this from the fabric patch and I got the blue cuddle. And what I did is I said, this isn't my cart. Sylvia says, I love bears, especially black bears. We got some of those in Missouri. But I put this in my cart and I put a note and I said, can you get me a blue cuddle that will go with that? And they texted me a picture of that. And I was like, that'll work. So now I'm going to send them a message that I've got this. And I want to probably a darker green than that. But it's going to be the back of the blue blanket. So basically, he's going to have blue blankets. There are two blankets. Bears on the back and other stuff on the front. Sherlock says so she has both in Michigan. And Sylvia saw them in Tennessee. Black bears. Look at me getting all. Anyway, black bears in Missouri, they aren't aggressive like grizzlies. Grizzlies are the one that my husband looks up all the time. Why would you do that? Okay. Oh. Pardon my reach. And this is the one. This is not finished. This is the, give me a minute for the words. I don't even know where the top is. One side's the top, one side isn't. We'll go with this. This is the Sweet Dreams, Pat Sloan. So long earlier this year. I started it the same time I started the Farm Girl Vintage. No idea what I was getting into. I've never done it so long. Like I said, that the Farm Girl Vintage I finished is only my sixth one first pattern. Sylvia says, oh yeah, now you're talking my colors. I know everybody loves purple. I actually had this left <laughs> had this left over from my mom's quilt that I made her. And I think this is going to my sister-in-law when I finish it. I think I got to block 10. I may get just upset and decide that it's going to be finished now. Now, I don't know if you can see those. I used pinking shears on because this is actually a sheet. Sherlock So says, very pretty. The colors are pretty also. Amy says, oh, pretty. I love purple. And Sylvia says, me too. Any purple girl here. So, but this was a sheet. That I used for the backing on my mom's quilt, and I thought I would like that. Hopefully, it holds together, works out. That, that, and the blanket for my husband are really the only two bona, bona fide whips in progress. And I've shown these before, but I'm going to show them again because I love them. More coffee. More coffee. 
Sylvia says she uses cotton sheets often. I do. I use cotton sheets. That's the first time I use the microfiber. I'm not a fan of microfiber, but it was so soft on the back. It was actually, it wasn't that hard to eat, work with. You just pin or baste it like you would anything else. Sherlock So says they make a rotary blade that does the pinking. I've seen those. I haven't bought one yet. This was the one that I still have. Ooh, this thing's never going to make it. Let's... I believe I call it the Lord of Things, but it's the hot. And yeah, that's the one. And the, the leaves are batiks, and the rest is cotton. And this is the Lux Minky. It's longer. It's actually, I think it's shrunk up pretty good. I don't think it's supposed to, but it seems like it was longer than this before. I don't know if we just see the difference. And I've said this before, but um, Cindy Ring, because that's where I got my information when I started sewing. <laughs> I still do. Sylvia says, if they 100% cotton, then they, they're cheaper than meterage. I think I call it yardage. She likes to say, nice. Thank you, Lori. Love the Hobbit. Oh, we are token fans. But with this one, all I did was, I think an inch. And then I just pulled it around and I sewed it. So self-binding. And it is heavy. And I didn't use batting in it. I got a blanket because I I didn't know how I was going to quilt it. And let's see if we can see those. Yeah, those ovals. I drew all those on there. And then I quilted it. But I didn't want to quilt through the picture. So I used a blanket hoping that that will hold up inside. Of that, woo, that's a workout. Sylvia says she finds cuddle hard to maneuver under her machine. This isn't any harder than anything else for me. And they have tips on Shannon's, Shannon's website, who makes the cuddle, and on the fabric patch. I got the tips from both of them. This is called Silky Salvi. It sticks on one side. You just cut it about an inch. Probably don't need that. On the side that you've cut, the your cut side of the yardage, put that on there. It stops it from, from doing that curl thing that it does. Sherlock So says, my daughter and son-in-law likes everything Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm not a big reader, but I read those. My husband is a big reader. Sci-fi stuff. This is the first quilt I made. Let's see. And it's going to niece. I was trying to remember if it's first or a second niece to a niece. And oh, I was feeling fancy. I just wanted to try making star blocks, so I did and lost all of my points because I had no idea what I was doing. And Sherlock Stokes says, hmm, I didn't know they had that for the cuddle. When I start finishing now, that one, and it's gonna be a while because I don't, kettle's not cheap. So, and I wanna get it in one, uh, one long piece of yardage. It's the stuff called Sticky Salvi. Yes. I'm trying to where I put it, I go, no, I don't have it in here with me. I was going to check my drawers over there. But when I start sewing that, I'll show you all the tips. I used a stretch needle. Sylvia says, yes, pinks with purples and light blues. Awesome. It's for a girl. I'm kind of like that. I had all boys and we were very masculine colors. What were considered masculine colors. Now, don't, don't go hating on me in the comments. We like what we like, and it's okay. <laughs> Good morning, Melissa. Practically Creative is in the house. The bot is on, Sylvia, Melissa, first names. 
bring you up for everybody. What time is it? Oh, it's only 6.30. I got this. What I don't have is a memory, so let's take a drink of coffee while we think. Thank you, Melissa. And thank you, Sylvia. Uh, where did I leave off? Amy says that's what she got, but her thread kept getting stuck in it. I didn't actually sew through it. I put it on the, the edges. That well, you need about a half inch seam allowance, if I remember right, and I really remember right. A half inch seam allowance, so you could cut it at a half inch and put it on the edges, and then sew just the other side of it, depending on what you're doing. I don't know, that's a thing because, like I said, that was my first one, so but I was, I know where I was going on. I use the um, stretch needle, I think is what it's called, and metler thread, which I believe has a polyester in it. I got them from Amazon. Metler. It worked really well. I didn't have any troubles with that stuff. Anything? Yes, Melissa says she heard from Lori quilting in the country. She needs prayers and love, and yes, she does. And if you exclamation Lori, I think I've got her Facebook and Sylvia's Facebook in there. Did I put it with Sylvia's? Oh, it might be with Lori's. If not, I'll have to change that. We all need to go give her some love. And she's also on the Discord which I don't have the link in there. But this was the first blanket that I've been trying to show. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I started drawing lines because I need lines. And the thread is free. So I started drawing lines and drawing these. And I love the way it came out. And it came out just the right size because this is, well, this is probably just a little bit further than it's supposed to be because this particular batting is four inches max. There's their Facebook page. So yes, thank you, ladies. Sylvia says, sending prayers. Hugs to Lori, quilting in the country. Sherlock Sews says, hugs to Lori, quilting in the country. Um, Amy C. Oh, so leave it on the outside part of the backing so you don't stitch in it directly. That's what I did. I haven't tried it the other way. So it worked for me, but that's probably why, because I didn't try stitching through it. But this was the first quilt and I should be getting it out of the house next year. Now this binding, I have no idea. I still have very little idea, but I have no idea. Let's see this binding. <laughs> I machined it on the back and then I turned it to the front and made a, well, let's see, you can probably see the stitches where they go wonky. I couldn't sew a straight, I could not sew. When I started this, I could not sew. But again, this one, I hand stitched to the front. I like my hand stitching. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I like it. Amy said, is Lori sick? She's been out of the loop. And Melissa, yes, just not sick. She's got some family stuff going on. Amy says, thanks, Melissa. And we'll pray for her and her family. Yes. So that's all I got. And a serious need for caffeine. Melissa says, I love your quilting on that, Colleen. Thank you. I draw. Now I've used, I've used pencil. The friction pen I'm leery about because 
someone said once that it didn't come completely out for them. I don't want to test my luck being new. Good morning. Guess who, Nancy? I didn't see you. I'm sorry. It's good to see you, Nancy. I was just showing, and you can catch it on the replay, all the quilt tops I have that I need to get quilted and bound, and then one work, two works in progress that I need to get taken care of. So I'm not starting anything new. I'll do as much as I can on camera. Let's see. And Nancy, we're praying for Lori. Lori's having a hard time. We're just saying, love you. So does God. Sorry about that noise. Uh, Hi, Nancy. Melissa, that's exactly what I was talking about. She says, red didn't come out for Becca. I think, yeah. And I didn't want to test the black. Nancy just got here. Hi, girls. Hello, hello. I got up, didn't even get my coffee. Started drinking and decided I was going to get on and do this because, let's see. We'll go back to the first one because I can. I do lots of things because I can. <laughs> the Farm Girl Vintage. I get, got it bound and washed last night. It took me three days to bind it. I don't know if that's slow or normal. Whoop, that's all kinds of crooked. Don't mess with me, camera. There we go. And the quilting. Let's see. Nancy says prayers for Lori. Some of the the pens come back in cold weather, I heard. Is Sherlock Sos. Because now we're talking about another Lori. I don't want to confuse everyone. <laughs> There's many Lori's. And we love them. Melissa says it's the perfect speed for you. Yes. Yes, it is. And that's what we do. Keeping up with someone else, especially if they're not your speed, is not going to come to. Let's try that again. Not. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Sherlock says. Keeping up with someone else may not work well for you, and you get frustrated, and you feel like, oh, I just can't do this. I got ahead of myself, so. Keep up with you. Uh, I've done three quilt alongs, the three yard quilt, Farm Girl Vintage, and the Pat Sloan that I'm still working on. All started this year. Melissa says, I love how they look after the first wash. It just makes the quilt look so pretty. I think so too. It just it adds a cuddle factor for me. Get on here 30 minutes. Yay. It's starting to get fidgety. I do that. And in my ear. It's for my phone. So you hopefully my phone isn't going off for you. The sun is coming up here. And what was I saying? Oh, the sew alongs. I've done three. I gave up on one. I decided to cut the other one short, and the last one I was just wanting to get over with, but luckily it was very easy. Three yard quilts, if you're doing a sew along and you have a three yard quilt pattern, for me that was the easiest. Exactly, Amy. My mind does that too. She says, my problem is my brain ideas go way faster than I can physically go. It's difficult to make my brain slow down. Yes, I have trouble with that. Like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. And finally, I have to no. I'm going to watch that and do this. And then I'll come back to it. And Melissa, yeah, that's a good idea. I was doing that. And I decided that my brain didn't need any of that to look at in case it forgot. <laughs> she says, Amy, see, I use a notebook to write things down. It helps some. I, I am a to-do lister. I, for my house for my chores, for everything. 
just under my glasses. I need a to-do list. It kind of nags me. Some people can write a to-do list and just not think about it again. I write a to-do list. I know what's on the to-do list. And that is going to drive me crazy until I get it to done. And Sylvia says, when you look back to how you began, you're making awesome progress. Thank you, Sylvia. I think so. And honestly, no one I'm giving these quilts to is going to know. Mother-in-law might, but I guarantee you she's not going to look. Because she's not that type of person like me. You give me something, I'm not going to start going quilt police on it. I don't know how, but <laughs> I'm just... Time and love is what I see when I look at quilts. Sylvia says, I started going, I started doing that, writing down, oh my God. writing down quilts I made everyone, then after a couple of years gave up. I see that I was thinking about because although I have tags and I have numbers, I've only made six, including the farm girl vintage. So you think that's only five for my brain to keep track of. It didn't want to. <laughs> I had to go look at my son's quilt, which was the one I made before it, to find out which number I was on. Because I, I put the number on the tag. Let's see if we can see that. Sixth quilt I've made is what it says at the bottom. Nancy says, oh, my brain thinks of things to do that seems easy in there, but harder to do. Oh, yes. <laughs> my mind. Oh, it thinks it can do anything. That thing has no sense. Um, Amy, Melissa, I need to go back to doing that. I create a master list, then break it down to a point where it just one day at a time. It's a good idea. I think I can make a list. I'm very organized. I think if I made a list of what I have done and stuck it somewhere I went and lose it, I would immediately lose it. But <laughs> the safest place in the house is usually the place I'm never going to look. But I could hang it. I could hang it on the bookcase side. Just have it hang in there. I use command hooks and put things on the side of my bookcase, like um, rulers, patterns, cheat sheets. Melissa says, I have some for my, scroll, <laughs> I have some for my granny. They feel like hugs from her. Yes. Uh, Amy, sometimes one day to do is one day to do is brush teeth, wash face, shower, and that's it. Learning to be realistic in my new normal is difficult. It is. I know exactly what you mean. And then teaching everybody else what your new normal is. Melissa says, hugs, Amy. I'm not sure what's up with the new normal, but I understand that frustration. I call it spoon theory. How much energy does it take to do something today? I did not adjust well to my new normal at first at all. I was very outgoing. I was still shy, but one-on-one -on -one I warm up quickly. I spent a year in bed between my breath, my spine, the fibro, arthritis, depression, severe depression. I spent a year in bed and then I spent the next 10 years not going outside my circle which was my husband and my son in the house. I got a phone call every few weeks. So I'd have somebody, you know, my mom to have a quick chat with, but I, I couldn't mow the yard. I wasn't doing laundry. I wasn't cooking. I, I was doing nothing for the first year. After I fought for a year to not be in bed, I finally realized what I have to do is stop. Stop scrubbing the floors on my knees. Stop going outside and nitpicking the lawn. 
and certainly stop getting on that riding mower that's going boom, boom, boom. I don't think I have anything else. This was a quick chat. Does it have a timer? It says we've been on here 40 minutes and I'm probably whispering. I apologize. Next time I'll have to be well caffeinated. The problem with going live is my husband calls one, two, three, four times during the day and I stop and I talk to him because I love him. Sylvia says, I think COVID lockdowns affected everyone's mental health. Melissa says, no, you're, you're speaking loud enough. Thank you, Melissa. I always worry about yelling. Nancy says, love our coffee. Yes, we do. And COVID, COVID lockdowns did affect everybody, but we didn't really have a lockdown in Missouri. I mean, my husband, where he worked, the only place that you were required to wear a mask in the factory during Nancy factory. Only place you were required to wear a mask was the bathroom. That makes sense. Good morning, Sean, the guy who sews. Good to see you. Exclamation Sean. We'll get you Sean's channel. And I think I have all my exclamations set up so anyone can do them. By the first names normally. There we go. Thank you, Melissa. And I got sidetracked saying good morning to Sean. Have to head to work in a minute, but wanted to drop in and say hi. Hello. Thanks for stopping in. Haven't been down here too long. So I haven't had my coffee. Working on it. I am a morning person. Amy C says, sorry, have you called and interrupted? And Melissa, my new normal is recognizing I can't do all the things. I have small fiber neuropathy, so my days are random. Yeah. Being tied to what your body is allowing you to do when it's allowing you to do so little is very hard. I have to tell every time we're invited somewhere, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what my back's going to let me do this day. I don't know what the fiber is going to let me do this day. But my husband calls four times. So I have to do things in between then, them. And like we were just saying, my back dictates, dictates a lot of what I do. A lot. Everything. Everything. Melissa's right. Amy, it's a big adjustment no matter what the cause. That's true. And Lori Sherlock So says, I just subscribed to a few channels on my other YouTube. Nice. Melissa says, nice. Melissa, I have my... You're going to make me say those words, aren't you? First of all, I'm going to butcher this. Now, myelogic encephalitis, chronic fatigue syndrome. Let's go with that. Oh, that's horrible. So when I push myself, I crash. It's a balancing act. Amy says, good morning, Sean. And in case you missed it the more, at the beginning, we mentioned... Um, Lori from Quilting in the Country is in our prayers. Just family stuff. And I want to say just family stuff, but, you know, not my business. <laughs> but I will pray for her. And anybody got anything else? Should I stay a little while longer? Oh, it's only seven. went quiet. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Did I move my sewing area around? Yes, I did. I had to, this wasn't back of me. I put it in front of the window, one for light, two because that camera only stretches so far and I was trying to get closer to the 
this thing of my sewing machine. Nancy says, I love that we are a praying bunch of loving people. Yes, we are, girlfriend. And, oh, I didn't see Sean is leaving. Off to work I go. Chat all later on. Later, Sean. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Brenda Foley, good morning. If I missed something, I'm sorry. Let's see. Amy has put the pronunciation in the chat, but we all know I'm going to butcher that. <laughs> so, my mind can say it. It's like, oh, it's like this. The second it starts to come out of my mouth, things go wrong. Melissa says, I just ordered a new cable for my U camera with a longer cord for recording. Cool. The cord I have is a six foot cord. So it's, it's a pretty long cord, really. Until you realize that six foot isn't that long. So that you can't that you camera seems to be pretty good. Good morning, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Good morning, Brenda. Got 15 footers. I may see what the because I'm sure I can get a longer cord for this one. It seems to make sense to make multiple lengths of cords. I should look that up. That would make it a little bit easier. Because I don't. I don't like my living, this is my living room. And for some reason, I don't like it over here. I like it over there. But then I'm going to have to fight with lighting. So didn't think that out until I started talking. Any big plans today? I'm feeling chatty. My back is feeling like it's going to have a timeout soon. Melissa says she hasn't made her Amazon video yet this morning. You being live was more important to me. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I appreciate that. I was thinking I'm going to get on here and I'm going to be all by myself. I can talk to myself. It's not as much fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not as much fun. Brenda says work, work every day. Amy says, ha ha, Colleen, I get it. My favorite medical word is, you're not nice. <laughs> Hypogamma go. No, how about that? <laughs> oh, no. Nancy is laughing. And Melissa says, I could say that one, Amy. Nobody likes the show of Melissa. <laughs> oh, Sherlock says, says, I'm not sure what hubby has planned for today. And that's another thing about my husband. Fridays, he works half a day. Sometimes he doesn't work any of the day. And he's right there on the couch. So Melissa knows that's someone who has it. That's usually how we learn to say most words of me. Once you know somebody who has it, and then you hear it said. So he says, my mom always said talking to herself was only way she got sensible answers. I know it. And I, I say it's not a problem until you start arguing violently with yourself. Then that can be a problem. Lori, I was going to ask if... He got his meatloaf sandwich. What time is it where Sherlock is? I must have missed that because I haven't been in a lot of chats. I'm watching a lot of the lives either on the replay or on my TV where I'm not commenting. Hypogamma globulinema. Globulinema. See? You can't help this kind of problem with me. <laughs> Nancy says, oh, girls, I'm LOL so much. Good. I was hoping to get on here, be a little goofy, show a little pretty, and, you know, hair's doing its own thing all of a sudden. See my hair? I get up. 
And it's like, nailed it at 5.30 in the morning. By six o'clock, that feeling is gone. I'm going to fiddle with these heavy blanks until I hurt myself, so let's stop that. <laughs> oh. It'd been, they say, a hot minute since I'd been on. So I thought I would jump on live this morning while, I, well, everybody, college kid is everybody. Well, everybody is in bed, husband's at work, and next week I start driving again because we haven't gotten college kids license yet. The transmission went out in the car, then the engine went out in the car, and just the car insurance is just too high. I would rather drive. So let's see. Amy C. Melissa, I did a lot of medical research when I started having problems, and doctors were being dumb. I had to be my own advocate. Yes. When I started going for pain management, instead of telling me, you know, you need to stop doing things for a while. You need to get off your feet, You need, to, which is what I needed to do. They're like, let's send you for some shots. After seven visits to the pain management for shots, I said, I'm done being a pain physician. The, the shots were getting more and more painful and just the driving there was causing so much problems. I was like, nope, I'm not going no more. Melissa says, my hair has its own personality. It went curly after my surgery last year and I have no clue what to do with it and amen to that amy yes sherlock is in michigan that's right i knew that made the meatloaf the other day hubby flew home and he wanted meatloaf well hubby wants meatloaf i guess he gets meatloaf mine does too i like making him happy he likes making me happy it's a very good what do they call it? Symbiotic relationship. If not, I'm already committed to using that word. So that's the word I'm using. Ah, see, Amy says, see, you did it. The last part is basically anemia without the A. Cool. I set my night bot to put up the don't forget, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's the technical term for the rest of the lessons. To go off. I think I said it for, did I said it for every hour. I don't know what happened. And all I just do is all day. Amy C says, I loved your show and tell Colleen. Melissa, my hair used to be straight, couldn't hold a curl at all. Now, after menopause, half curly, half straight, I just got, I just go with it. Sylvia says, we have another extreme heat warning again this weekend. Oh, I'm so sick of the heat. We had a lot of rain last weekend. We had a lot of rain. It was nice to get the rain. Farmers around here, you know, prices always go up for farmers when they have trouble. And I'm telling you, my girlfriend, her and her husband, have cattle, they have hay, they have they have a farm, so do my in-laws. And they were a hundred bales of hay short. Now, many years ago when I knew the price of a bale of hay, it was around eighty dollars, I think, for a round bale of hay. So you figure a hundred bales short for just feeding their own cattle and stuff. That's a lot of money they're going to have to put out. And then who are you going to get it from? Because they're not the only ones having a drought. Melissa, I can't get a brush through mine. So I wet it every morning and try to tame it. Amy, I had so many doctors tell me problems were mental. I went and got testing. And once I had paperwork proving I didn't have a mental health issue, doctors finally started listening to me. Well, you know what? When your body is working against everything you're used to it doing, it's it's not surprising. And they act like, oh, this is just a normal for you. No. Things go downhill, it can cause depression. Depression is not a normal state. 
everybody gets depressed. What is it? Chronic depression. And the doctors are like, I can't even talk about my back. I can't talk to my, about my back because it was so upsetting. I would cry and I'm not a crier. They're like, Oh, we need to get you on something. Okay. I wasn't sleeping. Only thing I was doing was eating. I couldn't even control my own diet because I couldn't go to the store. So now they've got me on sleeping medication. Not now because I stopped taking on sleeping, depression, pain, muscle relaxers. I know there was like 11 things. I can't remember the rest of them. And I was like, nope. Sleeping pills aren't making me sleep. Pain muscle relaxers aren't doing anything for me anyway. So we're going to stop it all. And after a while, I adjusted my behavior to what my spine wanted to do instead of making it do what I want to do. Melissa says, I had an appointment with a do new doctor yesterday, and I told her up front that I always have to teach new doctors. <laughs> I had a routine worked out with my old doctor and asked her to honor that. Nancy, how did I function? You mean when I wasn't sleeping and on a hundred medications that weren't helping? I didn't. I was in bed. I was in bed and in chronic severe pain all the time. And now we know I can't do everything. And I have to sometimes, they zombie you out. Yes, that's exactly what they did. I broke my foot in the middle of the night. Well, I broke my toe, but it's like halfway up your foot. So I'm going to say foot. Apparently, I went to the, I remember later, I was like, why does that hurt? I had went to the refrigerator in the middle of the night to get a drink. And our refrigerator is on the little slats because we didn't know how to get them off. We know how now, but they're still on it, which makes more air going under it, which actually helps the refrigerator last longer. My foot somehow got caught under that refrigerator and I went backwards. And then I went back to bed, continued hallucinating because when you don't sleep for many days, hallucinating is real and it's scary. It's cyclic, cyclic chronic health issues lead to anxiety, depression, cyclic. Depression, when in turn, makes chronic issues worse. Exactly, exactly. Being stressed makes pain worse. Pain causes stress. Room, 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 room. Yes, Amy says, it's all figuring out the balance, finding doctors that listen and know they can't fix me, and I just need them to support me. Sherlock says, ouch, yeah. And I walked on that foot for a week before I went to the doctor. And then I was like, well, I didn't even know that I'd done anything to it. And Sylvia says, like me last year, I knew my pain was coming from my hip. Doctor was only doing telephone consultations. He said, it's sciatica. I'm like, no, it's not. It's my hip. It wasn't until I saw physio. He said, yes, hip. Yeah. Well, first they're like, the scoliosis, let's get a rod in your back. I went to the surgeon and the surgeon says, no, we're not putting a rod in your back. The pain can be as bad, if not worse, and you're only 30. You may have been 33. Don't want to lie. Oh, my knee does not like sitting like that. Melissa says, I've had several rounds of x-rays on hips, hands, knees because of pain in those areas. Sylvia says she was in bed three weeks from pain so bad. Yeah. And my, why doctors don't understand this, I don't understand because it seems like common sense. Everything is attached to your spine. Your arms are attached to your spine. Your hips, everything goes up. It's all going into your spine. So when my spine is crooked, my ribs are crooked, the hump is kind of, the hump, because that's why I call scoliosis, is kind of between my shoulder blades, which causes everything I do with my arms 
to be no good. So I have to, I constantly like today, oh, you can see. I always have one of these. This is a salon pause. Sometimes I don't know what the back of my hair looks like. I should have checked that before I would show it out. It's a salon pause. Sometimes I use Icy Hot. They cause um, acne though. I don't usually have acne, but where I put those, I have acne. They help a lot, especially when I'm in this position. Oh, no, we don't want to text people. Let's move that so we don't do it again. <laughs> but when I'm in this position, I've adjusted my chair as much as I can to get that a good height for me. But it really helps with the shoulder blades right there and the swelling where the shoulders and the neck connect. Sylvia says, have you ever tried a TENS machine, Colleen? Yes, I have. Melissa says, Amy, good doctors who listen are tough to find. Yes, they are. And back to Sylvia's TENS machine. The problem with the TENS machine was where I need it to be. I can't reach as much as I try and the pulling that I'm doing to try to get it back. There's been a pretty, that's as far as I can reach. That's where it needs to be. I can't get it there. And well, if I can't get it there, it's not going to be done. So, but it has helped with my hips when my hips go wonky. Cause I get to where I have to use the cane or the walker. Rarely, it gets me in both hips, but any steps, um, like stepping stairways, even one step, that's why I couldn't do laundry in our other house because there was a step that went down and I didn't realize that was causing my hips to go out of place. Melissa's thinking about one for her shoulder. I think they're great if you, if you can reach where it's going or you have somebody to help you put them on. Those TENS units, they are like magic. My ex-mother-in-law, she was the first one to put one on me. She had one. She put it on me, and she's like, can you feel that? I said, no. Can you feel that? I said, no. She says, this is pretty high. Why can't you feel it? I said, oh. <laughs> and she turned it way up, and I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> also, a chiropractor used it on my back. And I do go to a homeopath, so he does manipulations, but we can't afford it. Insurance, the copay is so high. Oh, Nancy, my mom does too. Let's see. Amy says, Sylvia, ugh, so frustrating when you know what's wrong and the doctor doesn't listen, which makes you have the circle hoops to, yeah, to get where you know you need to go. Yes. Sylvia, I used one on my back and hips, but need to get a new one. Sherlock Sews, got to run. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I had fun. It was a nice visit. I think I said this already. Nancy says, wish I was your neighbor. I would put it on. My mom would too. It's, it's hard. You adjust. Bye, Lori. Practically Creative says, have a great day. So this is by Lori. Get your hubby hook you up, then clip it on your belt, and then turn it throughout the day. Let's define could. Could hubby do it? Yes. Is it convenient to make him stop what he's doing or try to catch him in between what he's doing to do that for me? No. It's everything for me is best that I control it. Not because I need to be in control, but yeah, I need to be in control. <laughs> no. Oh, Sylvia, if I had arms long enough to reach across the pond, I'd put it on you, on for you. LOL. Thank you, Sylvia. But I have, um, what does help, it's not a TENS unit. It doesn't work as good as a junior. I freeze 
uh, so start sentences in the middle of other words. I freeze uh, towels. I get small towels and I have a gallon bag. I fold it in like quarters or whatever to get fit in that bag. And it actually covers the entirety of the part of my back that swells and starts the nerves just start popping. And I put that on very often. I also have a hand towel that I rolled up and the towels that I got, the cooling towels aren't gonna work like I thought they would, Melissa. Melissa was showing those off and then I went in one. But my husband's using them to hold ice packs around that part of his neck. He has degenerative discs in his neck and they're getting worse all the time. But I have an ice pack that goes Whatever the size of a uh, gallon bag is, that's how big it is. And I keep it frozen. I bring it out and I put it on my back. And sometimes I have to do that for a while. And I have the heat pad that's usually on my lower back, my hips. Sassy stuff the other day when she was doing that bending over for her long arming. Oh, my hips. <laughs> they were having pity pains for her. Let's see. That ice, ice really works great. Amy says she can use the small tens unit. Or making up things, people. I can use a tens unit. It makes me have lightning strikes all over my. I can't, can't. I'll learn to read next week. It makes me have lightning strikes all over my body thanks to the small fiber neuropathy. Can't use ice below the shoulder for the same reason. Hmm. I can't use use ice on my lower back. I literally threw an ice pack. I was in so much pain and I got on the floor. I got on the floor, got the ice pack under me and I was seconds. I grabbed that thing and I checked it across the floor, across the room. I was like, Won't try that again. Melissa says she's sorry. Yes, Amy, I'm sorry too. That is, that's miserable. But you are in good company here. We understand. Maybe not the specifics. Compassion and prayers. My husband's always telling me, yes, you're just nice. Now I'm not just nice, but I'll pray about it till I can get nice. <laughs> I am just nice. Let's see. You see me there are some conditions you can't use it on. I have a, Nancy says, I have a friend. They implanted one in her back and she controls it when she needs it. Wow. That reminds me of that surgery they, for the, let's not say that, that tremors. They can do a surgery on your brain. It's supposed to help in some cases. No, thank you. But that, that would be cool. Melissa says, neat, Nancy. Melissa says, my back hurts for her, too. Wow, Nancy, that's awesome. Oh, Nancy, that sounds amazing. It does. See, that sounds scary to me. I haven't had a lot of surgeries or anything. I'm putting something in me. Do. You just can't take it anymore. And, you stop it, and that's why I stayed in bed for so long. Sylvia O'Colleen thought of two more Australian animals, Kiwi and Tasmanian Devil. LOL. Yes. Oh, Sylvia is getting herself up. Wait. Can I tell Sylvia? <laughs> Can I tell what you've been up to? I'll give you a chance to get that in. And hey, after I kept my coffee. And Sylvia is on Facebook with Quilting in the Country. I should give them their own command. Instead of having, well, along with having one for Lori and one for Sylvia, I should give them the, like, Facebook Sylvia. Breaking up is anyone else. Oh, am I breaking up? Nancy is also, my mic may have had enough of this. It seems to be going around. I was watching tea quilts last night. Her mics were giving her trouble. I have a lapel mic. 
and you probably can't understand. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. Going to read these last two comments. I think we all have challenges to overcome. As my mother says, pain is relative to the person that is experiencing it. Our brains tend to adjust over time. I agree with your mother. Uh, picture got a little wobbly. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, rebooted buffering. It must have been a YouTube problem. What I'm seeing is crystal clear. That doesn't mean anything, I know. What is it? Perception is reality. Sylvia rebooted. Better now. It was buffering, wobbly. Sylvia, can I tell them what you're up to? Your venture you're working on? If you can understand me, if not, we'll call it a morning. Get some ice on my back and heat and switch this around on my couch. Yes, go for it. Okay. My boy's awake. Sylvia is making her an Etsy shop and she is putting all of her patterns that she's making. She has a few free ones out there, I think, still, but she is going to convert a lot of them to Etsy. And they're um, digital. So it's a download. You don't have to. What are the words I'm trying to think of? So that's what pain does. It starts making you go. Mm -hmm. And that's going to look pretty on the replay. But um, <laughs> digital download. <laughs> uh, Melissa says, yes. So, yay, Sylvia. Smiley face. Nancy says, you know, I think YouTube is overused. There is so many of us on at the same time. They may need to update their programming to accommodate the mass. What's the word? Traffic, the mass traffic that it gets. That's why technology, everything. Oh, don't get me started on technology. It's it's changing all the time. It gets out of date all the time. So, but Sylvia is, hang on a second. I'm getting ready to get off here. Okay. Sylvia is getting the Etsy shop app. So she'll have some patterns on there. And I imagine she'll put some links Hello, Wendy, Gypsy Woman. I was just finishing up. College kid is up. That means that this back here is going to be coming a runway. It's good to see you. I was showing everybody, and I'll show it again really fast before I get in trouble for taking over the living room in the house. Washed it, got it all crinkly, put a couple color catchers in there, made a mess of that, but I like it, and my mother in law's going to love it. There's always the replay. Janet Johnson, good evening from Western Australia. We were just talking about Sylvia's doing some FPP, Australian critters. Animals, probably a better word. But she's doing some FPP and she's going to have it on Etsy. So check her out. Thank you, Wendy. And thank you for the reminder to retry that bar. There's a spot here and it's going to do nuts. Retry that bar when I quilt. Oh, Janet says she's got them. Yeah, I got them. But let's see. Woo. Because, well, she's not meant for that. I did some other show and tell UFOs, a couple of whips. And if you haven't visited my, pardon me, moderators and friends, check them out. Say hi. See if they're peeps you want to follow, too. And if you're looking for people to follow, when you go to somebody's channel and you go over to the, I think it says channel page, channel tab. Some people hide theirs. Some people don't. I don't. You can see everybody I follow and check them out. Jesse Woman says, awesome. Sylvia says, 
Yes, I think that's thanks for Janet. For Janet, yes, they for Janet. Oh, okay. Yes, they're for Janet. I got it. Wendy's about to put on some borders on her last quilt. Yay! She is back. YouTube had me go away. It may be my camera that, oh, oh, college boy started his computer. It redistributes our internet. I will talk to you all later. Grab a goodbye and whoop, that's a little close. Thank you all for coming. Yep. Kiwi, Sylvia, saw it. Email you because probably still buffering. Have a great day and I will talk to you all later. You're welcome. It was great seeing everybody. Thank you for to my moderators. I appreciate you showing up and helping and you know, I know you do it for free and I appreciate it and I love you and I'm praying for you all. Have a fantastic day and a great weekend, and I will talk to you later. See if I can end the stream.